Well, we learned, I guess you learned it too, that you shouldn't mix politics with business. Like this was like a unspoken rule. Mm -hmm. And I remember when the current president of the United States uh, got elected. That was the first time I actually sent an email to my list. Wow. About politics. Before and you that, live in this country. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. I was in Lisbon at a conference, Web Summit. It actually came up at the summit because in the tech world, nobody was expecting this conclusion. Mm -hmm. And so it was a two or three day conference and the results came right in the middle. And I remember somehow we have forgotten the TV on and I wake up at 6 a.m. and just like open up my eyes. I see CNN and I'm like, no. <laughs> it's like, girl, no. Yeah, yeah. And I go back to bed. I'm like, this was just a nightmare or yeah, something. I, I had the same experience. <laughs> uh, so I think five days later, mm -hmm. I wrote an email without mentioning any names, but I yeah. said, I've been yep. going through the five stages of grief, mm -hmm. you know, denial and mm -hmm. all those paths. I Googled the stages. Of course, I didn't know them by heart, good, but, good. Smart. But, but it was pretty much it. And I remember getting two emails. This was only my newsletter, uh, right. two emails uh, that from clients, paying clients that had voted. Uh, mm. for the president and did not like that I said this. Yeah. One left my world. The other one stayed on. And actually, I'm pretty sure like 99.9% .9 that she's changed her mind since then. Okay. Based on what has happened. But yeah. what, what do you say to someone that still thinks you can't mix politics and business? Uh, business is politics and politics is business. Don't freaking get that mistaken. And that's honestly a message from the patriarchy that because they're saying that to us women, because they know that we're the troublemakers. They know we're the ones who are going to shake stuff up because we're going to be like, wait, hold up. And that trust me, I got that message too. And I believed that for a long time. I am blessed to have wonderful in-laws and my mother-in-law, they both are very politically aware and they're also quite liberal. And I remember when, you know, when I first started dating Stephen, and then we got married and we'd go out to dinner and my mother-in-law be like, what do you think about blah, blah? It would be like, you know, some issue that's going on. I'm like, I don't like, I don't know anything about that. I'm just, doing my thing, you know, I was kind of had my blinders on and I'm working in those jobs in New York city. And I just, I didn't have time. I mean, I, I didn't make time for it. And I thought, oh, this doesn't really affect me. And I'm in my twenties. Like I just wasn't, I didn't follow current events as much. And it just felt kind of a no win game. It felt kind of ugly. It felt like, what's the point, but that became not an okay thing for me. Once I, and honestly was, I became a mother too. I have three kids and I think about things differently now. And my eyes have become a lot more open. And I don't believe that we have an option to just say like, well, I don't follow anymore. Or I think so, a lot of people, and I have a lot of you know spiritual type people in my world there's an element of bypassing that can go on when you just say, well, I don't want to look at that. It's just negative. I'll keep my vibe high and I won't look at all of these things. And that's, there's a level of privilege in that as well. I mean, I'm a white woman, but I am not going to close my eyes to the issues that are going on in the world. That would be easy for me to do. That would be really, really easy. It'd be super convenient because I wouldn't have to talk about this stuff. I wouldn't have to risk, you know, having some clients not like what I say or someone on my list being like, screw you, I'm leaving you forever. But I just, I can't anymore. I just can't. And so I've made a choice to, you know, invest in causes that I care about. And that's something that my business helps me do. You know, we give to various organizations who are doing really powerful things on the ground for, um, you know, people of color, for groups that have been, you know, come in at a disadvantage straight out of the gate. Like, what can we do to really bring a level of awareness and a level of support to, 
initiatives that we know are making the world better and stronger. Like that's, that's what I want us all to look at. And don't let anyone, if you're called, I know some people are listening to this right now. If you're called to speak up about something, don't let anyone tell you that you can't mix that. And then also the point that I pisses me off every time when let's just talk about that gun control issue again, or just the gun. I mean, we have a freaking issue in the United States. Anyone who says we doesn't, that we don't, I'm just like, I can't. But when someone after, you know, a shooting, which ha- they, it happens here all the time, uh, when someone says, this is not the time to, you know, talk about politics, like, we need to wait. Well, what's the time frame? Can we wait, you know, five days after the shooting? Like, what's the, you know, I just think that's such bullshit. I actually read this great book by um, Shannon Watts. I just want to give a shout out for the book. It's called Fight Like a Mother. She is the founder of, I call it Mom's Demand Action for gun sense in America. It's a really incredible book. It's about creating a grassroots campaign for your cause, you know, which you can take a lot of those lessons and apply it to a business. It's not, you know, maybe a cause necessarily. Although I think what you're doing has a cause related to Zigger and me as well. So that book was awesome. And I, I wanted to really understand what she did. She was a mom of four at that point, a stay at home mom, who just couldn't handle another mass freaking shooting at a school, especially. And so she created a Facebook group. (laughs) She created, oh, it was a Facebook page. It was actually a Facebook page. And it just, she caught it like 1 million moms for, you know, like gun control or something like that. And the thing just freaking took off and it's continued to evolve. Now they partner with um, every town, um, which was founded by Michael Bloomberg. And so it's just, and she's quoted in the media all the time. If you see her name, Shannon Watts, like that's her, she created this. And I learned a lot from reading that book, like how to handle when people come at you, when you put your position out there and I, it's come in handy, um, even with family members. <laughs> Because that's the thing too. I want everyone to know, not everyone's going to be for you. 